The body of this young tree is composed of carbon. Its roots, trunk, and needles were created by photosynthesis while the tree was absorbing carbon dioxide, a well-known greenhouse gas from the atmosphere. If this tree gets lucky, in a forest unaffected by logging, it can survive for up to 400 years. If we came here in the year 2400, the carbon would still be stored here. On the other hand, a forest managed for commodity production such as this is plainly a timber producing factory. These trees also absorb atmospheric carbon, but they do it for a much shorter period. They are logged at the age of between 80 and 100 years then their biomass is removed from the system, disrupting not only the life cycle, but also the cycle of carbon in nature. When a veteran tree dies, its trunk starts to decompose, but the stored carbon remains in the forest. In the year 2550, it becomes part of the soil in the form of organic humus, and if the forest remains untouched, it can stay there for another 1,000 years. In the end, one hectare of primary forest stores up to 2,500 tons of carbon dioxide. But what happens if we remove the tree biomass from the natural cycle? In five years, half of the carbon is back in the atmosphere. The bark, the branches, low-grade wood and sawdust are burned. Carbon is further released by processing cellulose and paper and additional CO2 ends up in the atmosphere during the mineralization of humus from the collapsing ecosystem at the logging site. Someone's short-term gain is nature's immense loss. So let's stop logging in old growth and primary forests. It's the most effective way of taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. And let's go a step further. Let's cease logging even in some managed production forests and re-establish their natural carbon cycle. If we have to extract wood, let's enlarge the area of these forests and only use logging practices that minimize impacts. Logging individual trees is far less harmful than large-scale clear-cutting. Ceasing logging in both old growth and earlier stage forests is the most effective measure we have to take CO2 from the atmosphere. Let the old forests grow and the younger grow old.